Team, keep it clean. I hope y'all are having a really, really great day. Today has been just an awesome day so far, even outside of all this football stuff. Today has just been an amazing day. Uh, so I hope y'all day is going good. And if it's not, I still love you. I love you. And I hope that made your day a little better, knowing that I love you. Because y'all are really super, super, super special. I appreciate y'all a whole lot. Now, today, feature... Oh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. A lot of y'all watching, which we appreciate, but make sure y'all subscribe so you ain't got to miss out on nothing. Subscribe, turn notifications on, because, boy, you know, hey, stuff is a bit slow now, and it's still crazy. So imagine when it's not slow, it's going to be even crazier. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss not one single thing, and turn notifications on, too. But anyway, today featured a press conference, and I got a little story to tell y'all a little bit later. But first, today featured a press conference with John Harbaugh. With Roquan Smith, with Lamar Jackson, and with Tyler Linder Flinder. Tyler Linder Baum. Second year center. Um, and they had some nice things to say. But before we get into what everybody said, I got to focus on something that Lamar Jackson said specifically that caught my ear, my attention, my mind, everything. Because it's something that we've been saying for a long time. It's something that he's been saying a lot of times too, but a lot of people ain't hear him. He said, um, running, it can only take you so far. It can only take you so far. And it's true. It's true. Now, I've been somebody who's wanted the Ravens to really pump up the passing game a lot more, especially, and it's more ways to do that than one. One is by just straight up passing the ball more. Uh, but another way to do that is by the weapons, by providing legitimate weapons for Lamar Jackson. Another way to do that is by changing the scheme that the Ravens ran. Guess what? Guess what? This season, they have the opportunity to do all three. All th and consistently, too. Now, again, every time I say this, I got to say it because a lot of people try to take it. Oh, you want to pass more? You don't want to run no more, buddy? That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I've been saying at all. You ain't got to forget about the run game at all, but put more emphasis on the pass game. Now, there have been times when the Ravens have done that a bit. There have been times where they've done it a bit. Um, and then for one reason or another, it's been different things. Sometimes it's been bad plays. Sometimes it's been bad execution. Sometimes it's been injury. Sometimes it's been something that's just taking them away. But at the same time, they also haven't had a plethora of weapons, pass-catching weapons at their disposal. But now, it's just, man, this, this, like this season is, is super exciting. I know every season is exciting, but now the season is super exciting because the Ravens, like, they have some legitimate weapons. They really do. And that's something that, that's amazing. Like, again, you got Odell Beckham Jr. Rejuvenated, refreshed, a year off. Odell Beckham Jr. You got Rashad Bateman, who's back and he's healthy again. And that is a beautiful thing to see. You just drafted Zay Flowers. You still got Devin DuVernay. And Devin DuVernay was doing his thing last year. I felt like what took Devin DuVernay away from doing his thing was more so his usage and not even him. But anyway, um, then you signed Nelson Aguilar too. Then, of course, you still got Wallace. You still got Proche and whatnot. So you still got some guy. Then you got Mark Andrews. You got Likely. You got Kolar. You got J.K., you got Gus, you got Mitchell, you got Justice here. Everybody talking about Mitchell like crazy. Everybody been talking about him. So we're going to see. But it's nice to know that Lamar Jackson has a nice little group of weapons. And now, too, the scheme is changing. So that'll be different. So And, and they talked about during this press, and we're going to get into it in a bit, that it's going to be a lot more up-tempo. So it's like, oh, oh up-tempo, right? And Lamar talked about having more free will. And free will, free will is a very powerful thing because when you have free will, that means you have the choice to make. Now, we have free will in life. You can do good or you can do bad with it. Now, with football, it's the same thing. It's going to be up to you. So we'll see how that goes. I'm excited to see it, though. Um, but quick, before we get into it, I got to tell you all this little story. It, it'll be fast. I, um, I had to take uh, our car to get an oil change yesterday. So... Took it to get an oil change. They're like, all right, the oil change would be this much. I'm like, all right, cool. They're like, all right, and later on, uh, we're going to examine the car and whatnot, and we'll see if there's anything else that you may need to get worked on. I'm like, all right, cool, no problem, no worries. So me and my wife and Carter, 
We go to the mall for a little bit, just go chill and whatnot, walk around, look at some stuff. We end up going to the Lego store. And um, actually, no, first we went to Nike because I had to take back some shoes that I didn't like. Um, so I took back the shoes. I got a refund for those. We went to Party City, what I told you all about earlier today. We had took, took, took back something and got a refund for that. So I'm like, I'm feeling good. I'm like, all right, I'm getting refunds. When I get refunds, I'm like, all right, this is great because I'm getting money back. But then we went to the Lego store. All the, the money that I got for refunds, Carter just, yeah, you know how that goes. So all that money was gone. But anyway, anyway, um, yesterday they were like, all right, your car will be, uh, with everything that we see, we see, we see some stuff that needs to be worked on, some stuff, to, all type of stuff. And that bill went from, from $89 for the oil change to <laughs> a lot more than $89. And I was like, whoa, whoa. But then I was like, at the same time, we have never not once at all had a problem with this car because we do the maintenance on it all the time. So I was like, all right, you know what? We'll just, we'll do everything. And oh, boy. That, oh, that, it's painful, but I'm like, we, we just get it done. So today, um, we left the car overnight, went to go pick it up today. And the guy who I was working with yesterday, he was on lunch break when I went to go get it. So I was working with somebody else. And I had worked with that person before. Um, and he was like, uh, he told me how much it would be. And I'm like, oh, man, that's, that's a lot. Did the, the, the guy apply the discounts? To anything? And the, the guy that I was working with, he's like, no, he didn't apply any discounts. I'm like, usually, every time I, I come to pay for the car, they apply some type of discount. And he was like, no, he didn't do that. And I was like, um, he was like, you, you got to say something for them to do that. And I was like, every time that I've come, bring, bring my car here, they always apply the discount by themselves. He's like, no, you got to say something. I was like, all right, I say whatever, it is what it is. And then he was like, no, I, I'll, I'll apply the discount. So what he did, he applied a discount that took off $60 from the total bill. It was a little bit, but it wasn't too much. But hey, I, I was appreciative of it. But then he was like, how's the family? I said, the family is good. And I'm like, he's just doing small talk or whatever. He's like, are you off today? And I'm like, no, I'm not off today. But I, I say I work usually like every day. Uh, but I work from home, so it's different. And I was like, I think I actually remember you. And he was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You, you do YouTube, right? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you talk about football, right? And I was like, yeah. I'm like, man, this dude got a good memory. Because I don't got no unique face or nothing like that. I look like a lot of other people. So, but I, I, I just appreciated that. But I thought I'd share that with y'all. Anyway, I'm going to make sure I put time, time stamps in this video. Because I know it's going to be some people. It's always going to be somebody that complain. Man, why'd you talk about that story in the middle of the video? I didn't want to hear about it. I didn't care about none of that. Keep it to yourself. It's okay. But anyway. <laughs> I love y'all. I really do, man. I love y'all. And, and I really appreciate y'all for um, just being willing to listen to us every single day. Because I know we, we got a lot to say every single day. But the fact that y'all show up and y'all show out, y'all support, y'all engage, y'all, all that stuff. Thank you. For real. I, I really appreciate it a lot. Uh, anyway, this press has started off with, uh, with John Harbaugh. And he said, every day is a great day for football. And he said that the coaching staffs from both Morgan and Bowie State were in attendance. Um, I think it was Jameson that asked him, how important is it for Lamar Jackson to be at OTAs? And, and Harbaugh said it's important. Uh, he wants every player to be here all the time. He said, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I want them to always be here. Everybody. He said that uh, Odell Beckham and Mark Andrews should be there soon. Uh, he said they both talked to him and they let, them, they let him know uh, what they are doing. Uh, he said that the Ravens put in the proposal uh, for the three QBs uh, active, and he said uh, that got approved. So he was happy about that. But as far as that, the, the, the fair catch proposal, he's, he said, nah, he wasn't feeling that one. But anyway, um, he was asked, what was the reason behind adding Josh Johnson? And Harbaugh said he's a vet that we know. And he said that and this is like. I know football, like, we, we always talk about and make fun of how hard the hardballs, they uh, got ties with everybody. Anybody who they bring in, whether a coach, whether a player, they know him from somewhere. But he said with Josh Johnson, his dad and his brother uh, were his coaches back in the day. I'm like, man, really? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, but he, and he said that uh, he'll, he'll be competing for the number two spot. See, Harbaugh tried to slip that in there. But that's big. That's, that's, that's really big. Because... And we'll, we'll talk about that more later, but I'm like, oh, like you, you can't just slip something like that in there. He just, oh, yeah, <laughs> you, know, you know, he's smiling, got his hat on and all that. Yeah, yeah, Josh Johnson will be competing for the number two QB spot. Just throw it in there, casually. I'm like, whoa, but okay. We'll talk about that later. Um, he said that uh, as far as Lamar Jackson, that uh, they're going to be ramping his work up. Um, they said that uh, with him learning the playbook and everything, 
uh, learning a new offense that they'll continue to ramp him up. But he said he's been working. Obviously, we know he's been working. Uh, but with the conditioning here, it's a little bit different than what Lamar was doing outside of Owings Mills. I mean, he said he knew that Lamar was going to be coming in around this time. And he said Lamar Jackson has been locked in. So that was Harbaugh. So it's cool. Harbaugh was pretty quick. Uh, Roquan Smith, uh, he was asked, how much more comfortable are you being able to have a full offseason with the Ravens? Because remember, last year he came with the Ravens midseason. Uh, and he said, I think it's critical. More time with the coaches, understanding the terminology. He said it's a great time to be bonding with the teammates, trying to find little things here and there to get better at. And that's important. Uh, he said it's also big for Lamar to be there, especially with them having that new offense. Uh, he talked about how when he watched Todd Monken that he uses a lot of different guys. He, he liked the way that Todd Monken uses a lot of different guys at their positions. Um, he said his early impressions of Trenton Simpson said he's always asking questions and just really eager to learn. And he talked about how um, Trenton Simpson said that he modeled his game after Roquan Smith. And Roquan was like, man, that's like, that made me feel old. I just turned 26. But anyway, uh, Somebody asked, both you and Lamar Jackson worked out your own contracts. What, what, what do you say about that? And Roquan basically said, I think every situation is different. Transparency is key, though. He said a lot of players want to be at the table for themselves to know what GMs and coaches think of them. It just all depends on the individual. Uh, then he also talked about how no one is ever too good to improve. Uh, and that's Roquan. He was speaking on people being or even not being at a uh, voluntary OTA. But he, he was talking about himself specifically. Like, why did you choose to be there at voluntary OTAs? And he said, because no one is ever too good to improve. So shout out to Roquan Smith. Shout out to Ro, 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 Ro Zero, Zero. There we go. Zero. Since that's his new number now. So. It's cool when you saw him and Patrick Crane walking out of that tunnel together at the Ravens. I said, oh, there you go. I'm like, and real quick, before we get into what Lamar said, I am somebody who's very happy that Patrick Queen is still with the Ravens. Because, again, y'all know, I keep I say it all the time, when they traded for Roquan Smith, I thought that was a wrap for Patrick Queen and that this was going to – last year was going to be the last season uh, that Patrick Queen was with the Ravens. But I am glad that he is still here. So shout out to that. Anyway, uh, continuing, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, he came to the podium. Uh, he said, the new offense is smooth. I'm loving it so far. It's more verbiage, and the coach is giving us the keys to the offense. He said, coach is very active and very, very talkative, very involved at the meetings and whatnot, always saying something, trying to help everybody learn everything. So that's a beautiful thing. He said, it was important to be here to learn a new offense because the season is getting near. He said, yeah, we got a couple months till it gets here, but it's going to go by fast. And I, I, I said, they, Lamar, been telling people that. The offseason, it flies by. Every year flies by. Uh, he said he expects to be there for the remainder of OTAs. Uh, he said when everyone leaves, he, he'll still be there with Coach Monk, Todd Monk, and the offensive coordinator. Uh, he was asked about Zay Flowers. He said Zay Shifty. He can stop on a dime. I saw it yesterday. He is smooth. Uh, and then he talked about Bateman. See, Bateman, I mean, this is how you could tell uh, Lamar been hanging with Hardball a lot. He was asked about Rashad Bateman. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see Bateman out there. He's the number one for sure. Da, 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 da. He said something else, too. But I was like, whoa, 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 Lamar, hey. Lamar just tried to slip it, slip it in there casually. Well, he said Bateman is the number one receiver. Now, I like it. I love it. But Lamar, just, he, he just slipped it in there. Like he, I guess he thought somebody wouldn't. No, no we noticed. Oh, we really noticed. But anyway, continuing. Uh, he said, as far as the offense, you can change things when you want to. Coach is giving you the free will to do whatever you want to. And that's what we talked about earlier. Um, now, somebody asked him about the possibility of somebody not being happy, like a player not being happy because it's, it's only one ball to go around. And you got a lot of different players and whatnot. But he said, if we're winning, everyone should be happy in regards to somebody possibly not being happy if they weren't getting the ball enough. Um, then that's when he talked about running can only take you so far. Uh, and then somebody asked, do you feel like you won't have to run as much? And Lamar Jackson said, absolutely, especially with the wide receivers we have. And I love that. I love that. Because he didn't just attribute it to the scheme. He attributed it to the weapons. And the more weapons you have, the less of a weapon he has to be. He's still going to be a weapon himself, too. We know that. But the less he will have to do because he could... Give it to somebody else too. Anyway, um, somebody asked, "Is there any anything in particular you're working on this off season?" You know what's funny? That's the question that I had asked him too. I, I had asked him that when me and Nitro did the, the, the interview with him at the restaurant, and he gave the exact same answer. So one thing I appreciate about Lamar Jackson, he's very consistent with his answers. He is very consistent because uh, again, somebody asked him, "Is there anything in particular you're working on this off season?" He said, "Everything. Just getting back to me being the best I can be." I was thinking, all right, Lamar, I'll see you now. But anyway, um, does this offense showcase a particular part of your game? That part, this part too. He said, less running, 
more throwing. I <laughs> said, so, ooh, yeah. Uh, and is there a peace of mind that now you'll only get football questions and not be getting asked about a little something else? Obviously, the contract. And he was laughing about it, and he said he was cool with, with it either way. He said he was good either way. Um, then somebody asked him about leadership. How do you feel about leadership? Uh, you've got five years in the league. You got a nice contract that you've earned. And he said it's just about being you, being true to yourself. But he did say that he's going to try to be more of a vocal leader. And he said that his coach, coach was like, hey, you got to speak up more. And he said he's going to be trying to do that both on and off the field. Um, and then last but certainly not least, uh, he was asked, do you find it funny the amount of conversation from the fans of you coming to OTAs or not coming to OTAs initially. And he said, I find it funny, but I ignore it. So that was that. But yeah, nice presser. Nice. Um, it, it made me feel like uh, how it was back when it was a season. Because remember, they, they, they would do these presses every Wednesday and whatnot. And it just took me back to when they were playing football. So it's going to be nice when they get back there. We got a little ways to go. It's only the end of May. So we got June, July, and August will be here. It, it'll be here before you know it. Trust me, man. I, I promise you. I know some people are like, man, this thing is dragging. I want to see my Ravens play. And I get it. I do too. But enjoy, enjoy this time while it's slow now. Because once it's crazy, that's a wrap. But anyway, I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Team Keep It Clean, y'all are some of the best people in the world. I love you. I appreciate you. I hope everything is going good for you. And if it's not, let's try to make it better. We out.